Hey everyone, continue for our second part of our graph sketching. We have the next question of f mod x plus 1. Now again, write down the transformation so that'd be easier. And in this case, you only want the modulus to be applied to our x and not the plus 1. We will then translate first. And again, because it's plus 1, it'll be 1 unit in negative x direction. All right. Thereafter, we modulus. Okay, now we will then, you know, think of what modulus does. Right, basically reflect and retain whatever that's on the positive x-axis and reflect over the y-axis and then paste it there. Of course, be, uh, that'll be done after we delete everything that's in the negative x side because whatever that we had in the negative x side previously is now invalid. Instead, the negative x portion would take the corresponding values of the new positive x-axis side. All right, so we're only concerned with this part here after the translation. So let's see what happens. Okay, we translate one unit in a negative x axis, we will then have x equals to minus half as our asymptote. And then our last of the asymptote will be this. Because it's in the negative x axis, and we're going to delete this part because we're going to mod the x, we can essentially just start to delete this part. So we can also take away the x asymptote. Now we concentrate on this part of the graph. Now when we translate one unit in a negative x direction, you notice that our turning point becomes. 0, 2. Perfect lies on the y-axis. And because it's a turning point, we have the graph that is supposed to be like this, correct? But because we're only concerned with the positive x-axis side, we can kiss the left side goodbye and just simply do this. All right, now we apply the models which is just reflecting, and that is our final graph. As simple as that. Of course, you can do this way faster if you recognize that, hey, if I translate this y into negative x-axis, this will also follow and this is cancelled out. Thereafter, our turning point is now at 0, 2, which is the y-axis, and basically we are only concerned with this portion here, and then we reflect. All right, so this is y equals to f bracket mod x plus 1, and it's as simple as that.